So it doesn't take a genius to recognize that Bamboo Lab has changed the world of consumer grade 3D printing forever. That being said, this rapid change in design and technology that we are currently experiencing is nothing new. And the icebreaker for today's discussion is gonna be the Creality K1 Max. But before you click away, I promise this is not yet another boring review video. So that rapid change in technology that I just mentioned is obviously the migration to the more speedy Core XY machines, but that isn't everything. And that's because Bamboo Lab has paved the way for a 90% hands-off experience. And when you add an AMS into the picture, that basically turns into a fully hands-off user experience. But again, it still doesn't end there because Bamboo Lab has taken the throne for the print quality king when it comes to consumer grade 3D printing. And that takes us to where we are today because everyone wants a slice of the bamboo lab pie and can you really blame them so i know most of you already know about the k1 max but please bear with me so i can close the loop for those that don't know and I promise I'm going to keep this very brief. So the K1 is Creality's fight for the bamboo pie, and it started out tremendously weak with faulty hardware and a complete blatant disregard for Clipper's terms of service. But through a series of redesigns, the K1 is now a worthy competitor, and in my honest opinion, it is quite a scary one at that. The K1 series is sleek, and in my opinion, it is arguably better looking than the Bamboo Labs counterpart. And how about its speed and its print quality? Well, when you talk about the basic materials like PLA, PETG, and even ABS, depending on the geometry at hand, the K1 series is going to print faster and it's going to have comparable quality. However, this isn't an X1 Carbon versus K1 comparison video. But if that is something you're interested in, please let me know in the comment section down below and do be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be alerted if and when it goes live. So the upgrade from the K1 to the K1 Max is going to include an air purifier, a hardened steel nozzle, and 650 additional watts of power. That additional power is going to allow your print bed and your print service to get hotter and it's going to allow it to get hotter faster. You're also going to get the camera and LiDAR sensor pre-wired and pre-installed ready to go out of the box and of course you will get the 300 millimeter cube build volume. So that's cheeky and all, but I don't have time to do a full review on the K1 Max. There's plenty of those already on the internet. That being said, this does function identically, if not better to my standard K1 and spoiler alert, I absolutely love that machine. And if you do want to watch my dedicated review of the K1, make sure to follow the link here. Now I know you guys have heard of PCBWay before, but what you might not know is they have a 3D printing department as well. Now the great thing about PCB Way is they don't only print standard materials, you can also print peak, ASA, or even stainless steel and titanium. Now in order to provide the highest quality service, prior to printing, PCB Way is actually going to perform a full model analysis of the file you uploaded. That will ensure when your print arrives, it's going to be exactly as you envisioned it. What are you waiting for? If you want to learn more, check the link in the description below. So now that that is out of the way, I want to talk to you about that bamboo pie that everyone is drooling over. There are at least half a dozen of these Speedy Core XY machines readily available for you to purchase right now, and there are more that I know of that I can't yet tell you about. In fact, the highest rated spec Speedy Core XY that I have seen is going to be arriving in the studio very soon, 
And like I've already mentioned once before, if that's something you're interested, make sure you go and click the subscribe button down below so you can watch that video when it goes live. But the point that I'm trying to make is that options now exist. You aren't limited to the K1 or the Bamboo lineup. And the funny thing about that is now that you have options, everyone is complaining that all of these options are Bamboo clones. You can't open the internet and browse to a 3D printing source without seeing the phrase Bamboo clone littered everywhere. And the the reason that this is odd to me is because throughout history, competition has only made technology better. And one of the greatest examples of this is the automobile industry. Why does Honda exist if Toyota already existed and already manufactured the same thing? When a company wants to pull the market share from someone else, they need to innovate on what's already pre-existing. They need to make their product better and more appealing than what already exists. And without that ping pong from one company to the next, technology would stay stagnant and it would never progress. You have to understand that the primary goal of a for-profit company or organization is to make money. And if they're doing that without fear of losing their customers to a competitor, then they're not going to spend additional funds on research and development. That scenario playing out is essentially the total death of a technology. So to tie this back into 3D printing, as a community, I think we need to reevaluate the words and the phrases that we choose. Of course, we can continue to praise the bamboo gods for their technological advances and breakthroughs, but we shouldn't get hung up on this whole bamboo clone mindset. After all, this is a repeat of exactly what happened nearly a decade ago when Joseph Prusa debuted what was later coined the i3 style printer, which is something that we still use today. And to take that even one step further, Creality built upon that and left us with the Ender 3, which ultimately leaves us in an absolutely identical place to where we are today because YouTube, Reddit, Facebook, everywhere on the internet is completely littered with people talking about the Ender 3 clones. So yeah, what we're seeing with this growth towards a more speedy Core XY technology is very healthy and the K1 Max is an incredible byproduct of this chaos. Like the K1, the K1 Max definitely suffered from its core problems at its early release but Creality owned their mistakes and they fixed the problems, and since then, the K1 Max is a total beast of a printer. And I'm sure, like any product, the possibility does exist for there to be some engineering oversights, specifically things like thermal leakage, untuned body resonances, or any other technical flaws. But the fact of the matter is, if you purchased the K1 Max today, I would bet money that you would be quite happy with your decision. If you are interested in purchasing the K1 Max, I would greatly appreciate it if you chose to use my affiliate links in the description below. And guys, I am very curious about your thoughts on the whole bamboo clone situation. Let's turn the comment section into a discussion board and really pick this thing apart. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. And if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you ignored my two previous attempts to get you to subscribe, I'm going to give you just a couple seconds right now to do so. Thank you. Bye.